So if you haven't noticed already, the latest Cody 17 has got a brand new skin. They've done away with Confluence and they've a new stock skin. It's totally different, totally changed, and yeah, it's fine. I like it, whatever. But if you're not that technically minded and you want a bit of help and you just want to get back to basics and you just want the Confluence skin, which is absolutely fine. I do like the Confluence skin. It's very simple, very straightforward. And for people that just want to turn the damn thing on, know what they're doing because we've been using Confluence skin for years and years and years. I, you know, I can relate to that. So let's get it changed over. It's going to take you literally just a couple of minutes. Confluence skin is still there, still available. There's a few changes obviously made to actually accommodate the latest version of Cody. You'll get used to that, it's, there's nothing too much to worry about. Basic skin, basic layout will all be the same so you can get your head around it. My name is Matthew, you are watching another tutorial for Cody by the MXQ Project. Okay, so are you ready? Because this is going to be over pretty quickly. Make sure you've got a fresh install Cody or whatever you've got. Maybe, well, it doesn't have to be fresh, I guess. But as long as it's Cody 17.5 or whatever you've got on there, 17 before whatever, it's the same thing. So, this is uh, Cody, just a blank installation. Let's go to this little icon here, which is like a cog icon. So, basically, the settings go in there and just go to interface, as you can see. So, interface just there. And then the next thing you do, you're on skin and then go over to skin, which says estuary. So, this is the current skin that that's installed and it's the stock skin that Cody decided to give it in replace of Confluence. Click on there and then all we need to do is click get more click on get more and what will happen is it will bring up this little menu and as you can see we can see all the different skins that are available for cody at the moment and as we can see this is our beloved confluence skin you don't have to do that of course you can install some more one of these ones if you want to but we're here to show you how to install confluence skin so click on that and then what happens it will just start installing it so as you can see it's downloading the add-on so it will start the installation process this will be over just in a few minutes if you've got a faster internet connection than me most people do don't worry about it it'll be installing much quicker than mine there we have it and then it's going to install a few dependencies as all add-ons do hey there we go so just click yes and that is confluence skin we are back to what we're all used to so there we go well, there we go thanks guys so that's pretty much it very straightforward all done in a matter of minutes thanks for watching guys my name is matthew and you've been watching another cody tutorial by the mxq project don't forget to check us out on twitter at mxq project got the facebook group lovely bunch of people over there very knowledgeable as well we've also got the website as well which is at just www.mxqproject.com loads of reviews tutorials etc lots of good things over there please go and check it out and yeah that is it thanks for watching and we shall see you in the next one